So, in case you don't know, about a month ago, I made a video um, showing off everything on my modded 2DS. And now there's more stuff on this modded 2DS, so yeah! First of all, I made this custom theme right here. It's just Jip and Donuts. 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 Alright, first thing we got the 3DS games and apps and whatever. First of all, we got Mario 3D Land uh, and Tomodachi Life. Some great games. We got Mario Maker for the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, here's Rayman Origins. I used to love Rayman when I was younger. Here's Flipnote Studio 3D. Ultimate NES Remix. Miitopia, the demo version. I mean, I have the demo on my Switch, so why not just get the same thing? <laughs> uh, here's Super Pokemon Rumble. Uh, or Pokemon Rumble Blast, if you live in America. I used to, like, hate this game when I was younger, but now that I've replayed it, I actually kind of like it. Uh, here's Lego Star Wars. It's just kind of on here, because I have it. Well, I also have Mario Maker, physically, so yeah. Uh, here's the Nintendo Badge Arcade. I love the sound it makes. Here's Nintendogs, because, you know, who doesn't love dogs? I mean, you gotta take a break from things like Smash Bros. Here's Mario Kart 7. Um, Kirby, Planet Robobot, Box Boy, Smash Bros. Wii U uh, controller, because I don't have the 3DS version, but I do have the Wii U version. Here's 3D Classics Excite Bike, I just kind of got it because of the level editor. Here's 3D Classics Kirby's Adventure, because, you know, who doesn't love Kirby? Here we have Pokedex 3D. Pokemon Bank, which just lets you transfer Pokemon. That's literally it. And the Nintendo Anime Channel, which is very self-explanatory. It just lets you watch anime on the, your 3DS. Apparently, it only released here in uh, Europe. So, um, yeah. Uh, that's pretty weird. Moving on to the DS games, we have more brain training from Dr. Kawashima. Surprisingly, this was, like, the first DS game I ever got. Followed by, um, Dr. Kawashima's brain training number one. New Super Mario Bros. Tetris Party Deluxe. Super Scribble Noughts. Touch Master. <laughs> yeah, I really do have some random DS games. <laughs> we have Super Mario 64 DS. The Sorcerer's Apprentice. The Simpsons game. SpongeBob's Atlantis Square Panthers. This is actually like a pretty underrated game. Um, well, number one, SpongeBob. <laughs> I mean, he's SpongeBob. And second of all, it's just fun. So yeah, Red Bull BC One. <laughs> yeah, I was just kind of in a game shop and I didn't know what game to buy, so my little brother picked this out. <laughs> Here we have Nintendo Dogs, the original. Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Great game so far. I've not completed it yet. Here's Iron Man, uh, CSI Dark Motives. Space Invaders Extreme. Sight Training, Super Princess Peach. Yoshi's Island DS, 42 All Time Classics. An R4 card, Loader, and Picto Chat. Moving on to the DSi, where we have Flipnote Studio, Plants vs. Zombies. Um, the Brain Training games, uh, Balloons, Tower Defense, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, a little bit of Dr. Mario, Rayman 1, I, I didn't know this came out on the DSi, and Pioro, or the Bird and the Beans, I think it's called in America. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of GBA games. Why? Because of the Nintendo Ambassador Program. Well, first up, we got the Mother 3 fan translation, amazing game. And Mother 1 Plus 2, which is just Earthbound on the GBA. Earthbound is the best game ever. Mother 3 comes in second place. I just can't decide which one's better. Here's Robot Wars Advanced Destruction. Rayman Advance. Rayman 3. Crash Bandicoot 2. New Super Mario... Not New Super... Just Super Mario Advance 4. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. This is a great game. WarioWare Inc. I just love the music in this game. Just, just take a listen. Here we have Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Um, 
Fire Emblem. I've never really played Fire Emblem. I just kind of have it because of the um, the ambassador program and stuff. We have Metroid Fusion. Again, I've, I'm not really interested in Metroid. I just kind of have this because of the um, ambassador program and everything. Yoshi's Island. Uh, Wario Land 4. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Sonic 1 GBA hack. The, the Minish Cap. F Zero, um, GBA Craft, and a Mother Three hack called Opposing Force. Moving on to the Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, we have Rayman One and Two, both very underrated games. We have Mario Land Two, Game and Watch Gallery Two, Donkey Kong Land Three, Super Mario Land One, Looney Tunes Collectors Martians <laughs> Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I surely do have some random games in my game collection. Here we have Pokemon Red, uh, Gold, Blue, and Green. Moving on to Super Nintendo, we have Earthbound, greatest game ever made. Um, Mother 2, Geek no Gekushu. Um, this is just the Japanese version of Earthbound. Kirby Superstar, F-Zero, greatest racing game on the SNES, by the way. Kirby's Dream Land 3. Um, Super Mario RPG, Donkey Kong Country, 1, 2, and 3, Star Fox, uh, A Link to the Past, I just recently completed that one, Super Mario World, Working Crew 98, and Super Mario War Stars. Moving on to the NES, we have Super Mario Bros, 1, 2, and 3, we have The Simpsons, <laughs> um, Earthbound Beginnings, or Mother. The Legend of Zelda, Tetris, Joy Mech Fight, very underrated game, the Famicom, Nez Open, Ice Climber, Balloon Fight, Donkey Kong Jr., uh, Metroid, Wrecking Crew, Mario and Yoshi, and Zelda 2. <laughs> Moving on to the game gear, we have Sonic 1, 2, uh, Triple Trouble, and Sonic Chaos. Here on the Mega Drive, we have Sonic 1. Uh, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, without the and knuckles part, Mega Games 2, and this isn't a Mega Drive game, it's actually, uh, as I was saying, this isn't actually a Mega Drive game, it's a 32X game, it's called Knuckles Chaotix, uh, the reason I have it in the Mega Drive folder is because the 32X was an add-on for the Mega Drive, so yeah. We have only one PC Engine game, and that's Bonk's Revenge. Okay, there's way too much stuff in here. Now here in the homebrew folder, we have the homebrew launcher, obviously. Uh, the H shop, FBI, uh, Anemone, Wamiibo, Sonic 1, 2, and CD, the mobile versions. Pretendo, Universal Updater, uh, Checkpoint, um, Sonic 3 Complete, which is a hack. Gimme 300 coins. Third Tube, which is YouTube, the website you're watching this on. PDSX, uh, this one's actually FNAF. Uh, Cookie Clicker, Geometry Dash, GM9, uh, Mario 64, Multi Updater, Generic Snake Clone. This isn't a very generic snake clone. It's actually probably the most wild snake clone ever. Like, you go from playing Snake to running away from asteroids to collecting hearts on the game over screen. To driving around in an ambulance. <laughs> Here we have Flappy Bird. Uh, just a video player. I can just use the uh, 3DS camera. But you know this is nice to have. Crafters Reloaded which is Minecraft. 3DS Iden. FTPD. Twilight Menu Updater. And uh, the Twilight Menu. Undertale. NTR Custom Firmware. NetPass 3DS Controller. This lets me like play PC games on my... 3DS or 2DS. We have Pong Pokemon. It's just Pong but Pokemon themed. 3DS Shell. Or not 3D Shell. NTR Launcher. Uh, the Luma Updater. Moonlight. RGB Part 2. CWL Loader. And Mario Galaxy DS. Here's just a bunch of stuff I made. Here's the Glitchlands series. Um, Earthbound Ultimate. Mother 1 Plus 2 Danish Translation. Earthbound Ultimate Advance. Earthbound Game Boy Port. Mother Game Boy Port. And GBPC. Here we have some mods for games. We have CTGP7 and Mario Kart Wii. Here we have just the system apps. You know, just boring stuff. 
I mean, I guess the fact I have the ambassador certificate isn't boring, but yeah. And yeah, that was my modded 2DS. Bye!